I'm here in Dolo on Somalia's border with Ethiopia where thousands of people are arriving displaced by the worst drought in 40 years and many of them arriving in a very weak state and they've come here to get help and the main problem for many people here they say is that the drought has decimated their livestock and also destroyed many of the farming and crops that they were able to do in their villages. Conflict too has driven many people here to Dolo where they feel safe. There's been fighting between Al-Shabaab and security forces and Al-Shabaab has effectively blockaded off many villages, laying siege to them and, and stopping people from coming in and coming out, which has been an issue. Here in Dolo, people are telling us too that one of the reasons they've come here is because Al-Shabaab has been squeezing them financially with taxation and also many fear their children being recruited into the group. It's hard to believe looking at the river Dawa here, which is high and flowing well, that agencies are predicting a famine possibly in two regions of Somalia later on this year. The reason why it's high now is because of rains in Ethiopia, but just a few months ago, this river was totally dry. And one of the main reasons why agencies are predicting famine is because this is gonna be coming up the fifth consecutive poor rainy season in the Horn of Africa. And even though this river is full, farmers need to be able to use it. That means they need things like solar powered pumps, they need dikes, they need dams. Um, and also this river is prone to flooding too and there are a few flooding defences here. There is a small window of opportunity to try to prevent this famine. Areas like Dolo are better served by aid agencies but still supplies are running out here as well. And many of the people coming to places like Dolo and to the camps are from rural areas either controlled by Al-Shabaab or uh, surrounded by Al-Shabaab. Aid agencies are unable to reach those people in rural areas. They are discussing ways of how to do that through possibly uh, businesses or uh, local partners. But time is really running out for people and there is very little time left to save lives here in Somalia and action really needs to be taken now.